friends, it's Aki Dearest, and welcome everybody to another episode of Why Japan! This is a series that I do on this channel where I go over certain products that I find here in Japan. Some of them are strange, some of them not so much. A lot of the bizarre inventions that you guys see online are actually part of an art form called Shindogu. So I have a few products here, I'm gonna be showing them to you guys, and we're gonna see if they're useful, whether I'd keep them or not, and if they worked. So Mama Aki got a little bit impatient and started cutting open the first product, but in English, this Japanese here actually translates to devil child that quivers. I know that sounds really strange, but let me show you guys what this is. I've never used anything like this before, but I've used a lot of things that claim to work out your jaw, and this is one of them. So you just bite down on like this little pink silicone piece in the back, and then I guess you pull out this black tongue, and it's supposed to vibrate in a way that works out your jaw and your muscles. I feel like talking and laughing will just do that naturally, and maybe just working out, but I'm gonna give this a shot, so let's just see how this goes. Mm. Kylie Jenner got nothing on me, homie. Oh my gosh, everything is like so ticklish and kind of itchy because everything's like shaking, but I don't think calories are being burned. I feel like the fat in my face is just being jiggled around. Thanks a lot. Instead of trying to make me slimmer, you're only reminding me that I have chubby cheeks. It's like you're starting a lawnmower, except it, I feel like I'm just getting ready to just talk to all my friends at a nightclub. Oh my god, did you guys see that guy with that one girl? I can't believe that he was going on a date with her. Oh my god! If this burns calories, then talking and laughing naturally would burn calories. That's just where my logic's going, you know? So I feel like you, lose, you would lose more calories just by hearing a funny joke. Go listen to a comedian or something, but this is like, ugh. Here. Beautiful. Yeah, no, this is going straight into the trash. This is honestly a pointless product. Did it work? Uh, I mean, it vibrates, but I don't think it really works anything out. Even if you use this every day, I don't think it's gonna do anything. So, would I keep this? Is it useful? I can't even think of any other reason you would use this. I mean, maybe if your lawnmower is broken and you wanna like replace the thing and just go like, the face vibrator is an absolute three stars on the Y Japan. This doesn't need to be, don't know why this is a thing, but they got my money. Okay, the next one is kind of interesting. So this is only 100 yen and it's called a plastic bottle pencil sharpener. And it's a very unorthodox way of sharpening your pencil. So it looks like this cute little bear. And then you have to then put this on to replace the cap. And when you sharpen your pencil, it's supposed to put all the shavings in here. I always just kind of swipe the shavings off of my table and put it in the trash can. I mean, don't you have to like wash this out and stuff? I don't know. I mean, I guess if you're the type to want to like save it for something later. Okay, so you put your pencil through this little strawberry here. Okay, sharpening now. Huh, nice sharp pencil and everything's clean. It's weird, but it, it works. I think that's like a great, <laughs> I think that's a great explanation for Japanese products. It's weird, but it works or sometimes it doesn't. But in this case, it's weird, but it works. Well, there's all the shavings at the bottom. I can only imagine how many pencils does it take for me to fill up this whole thing. Imagine having that at school, you know? It's like, hey, can I borrow a pencil sharpener? And you whip this out. So there's that. Uh, let's just review now the pen the plastic bottle pencil sharpener. Did it work? Yeah. Would I keep it? I'll keep the pencil sharpener, not the plastic bottle. So it's kind of like a half, uh, you know I mean? It just, just half. And was it useful? It actually is, it, it is useful, it's just, but why would you want to? And for our final product for this video, Bond Presto Box, what are you doing here with your My Hero Academia merch by Bondi that you guys can also order in the description below? You're not supposed to be shown till the end of the video. Ha! Now drum roll for our final product of this video. The Gentle Eye Mask 
or more specifically, the Gentle Steam Eye Mask. So you guys may have seen these at airports. I don't know if they're sold at all airports, I haven't checked. But whenever you come in or out of Japan, you probably will see these and think of them as like a very hot blindfold. I personally use these whenever I've been traveling and they feel really good. I don't know if they really work on your blood, but basically what they're supposed to do is like when you put it on when you go to sleep, they heat up to what it says 40 degrees Celsius. That is... Alexa, what's 40 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? 40 degrees Celsius is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, that's actually really hot. So this heats up and it's supposed to keep the blood flow in your eyes uh, still going so that you don't wake up with like puffiness under your eyes and stuff. I don't know if that really works or if it just feels good. Either way, I use these because it just feels great to have like a hot pack on my eyes. But these are from Japan and I always see them at Narita and Haneda Airport whenever I leave the country. And they usually come in like a pack of at most 20 12 of them, but you really don't need any more than like one or two for a flight. So it comes in this little pack right here, and if we open it, we have a little eye mask that almost looks like a, almost looks like a pad, doesn't it? Ooh, this is scented. We'll just put it on here, and then you just put it behind your ears, and if you're on the airplane or if you're just in bed, you just go to sleep. When you first put it on your eyes, it's not going to be hot immediately, but I feel it progressively getting hotter. So I'm going to put the, fer the thermometer, thermometer, I'm going to put the thermometer into here, fold it up, and then we're just going to see the temperature progressively go up. So it's at 24 degrees Celsius. It's already shot up to 40 degrees, 0.2. It's not like scorching hot. I mean, it, you guys should know what the, this temperature feels like, but it is really obvious. Um, it doesn't happen right away. And according to the box, this lasts about 20 minutes, which sounds about right, because whenever I put this on, I do feel the temperature just then coming back to room temperature. So 20 minutes is pretty okay. So I would suggest doing it like literally right before you go to sleep. But then again, they say that you don't really fall into REM until like 40 45 minutes, but it does it does feel nice that that's the point. I'm already speaking from past experiences So this is one of the rare products that I've already tested out. So time to rate it. Is it useful? I think so Does it work? I don't know if it keeps the blood flow in your eyes, but I do personally feel really refreshed whenever I use them so And would I keep it while well, I'm traveling back to America for a convention? So this also makes a great Christmas present as well. People might not think it's useful at first, but watch until they try it. They're gonna be like, hey, hand me those eye packs. They feel hot. They fire. So that was all the products for this Wide Japan. Uh, they weren't like really too outgoing. They weren't really too strange. Um, two of them were actually quite useful in my opinion. It's just that this one was really strange. This one, don't even get me. That's just done. That's a disappointment. Let me just. Yeah, you're, you're done. And now I'd like to take the time to show you guys the sponsor for this video, Bondi's new Von Presto box. It's been a while since I said, what's in the box? So I think in this case, I found a good opportunity to use it. So the Von Presto box is kind of like a new subscription box that Bondi has created. And because of that, you obviously can't choose what products that you put into it, but you can expect what the theme will be. In this case, it's My Hero Academia, which they are still selling in the description below. But let's just open it. What's in the box? It's already open, it's flipped. Oh my god, this is so much. Jesus. So we have these, uh, what do you call them? Shokushu? No, that means tentacle in Japanese. Why am I always attracted to tentacles? Joey, what are these called? Shikishi. It's shikishi. There we go. So many best boys. Along with those, the box also came with four pins of the same characters, four keychains of the same characters, but you could probably put these on an Ita bag and make a nice little My Hero Academia themed Ita bag if you would like. And then also it came with these like four, I guess you could say that they're frames. They come with like little different prints that you can change in and out between each character. And you can put them next to your bedside table and dream of All Might if you would like before you go to bed. But I think the biggest highlight that I like the most from this box is the Deku My Hero Academia figure. This is a thick boy, by the way, and he can stand on his own just like that. There's no holes on the bottom of his, of his feet. Usually figures have, have the circle thing, but he just stands on his own and I think that he's a pretty dang good looking boy over here. This box is only available to ship around the United States. Now there's also a Kirby themed one and if you guys would like the My Hero Academia or the Kirby themed box, you guys can book this box between January 6th and February 16th. 
which is actually my birthday. Hey, if you guys would like to know more information, link is in the description below. So hopefully you guys liked all the products featured in this Wide Japan. Let me know which ones you guys like the most, which ones you guys like the least. Other than that, I appreciate you guys for watching and subscribe to my channel for more anime and otaku related content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.